If you're looking to create unique Pinterest idea pins with music or voiceover, this tutorial will help you get it done using Canva. Hi, my name is Kayla and I help content creators create better content for better results. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get my latest uploads every week. I've noticed in the Pinterest creator community, a lot of the same questions coming up about how to add music and voiceover to idea pins in Pinterest. And I wanna make sure that I answer that question of how to do it. It seems that everyone has different options on the Pinterest idea pin creator tools, whether you have an iOS app or you're using the desktop app or you have an Android phone. Some people report being able to add music right inside of Pinterest while others cannot. And I happen to have an Android phone and cannot add music on the Pinterest app or on the desktop app. And so if this sounds like a problem that you've been experiencing, there's no need to worry if you're not seeing the audio option on Pinterest editor for your idea pins. All it takes is having Canva and a few simple steps. So I'm going to show you how. So the first thing you want to do is log into your free account on Canva. Sign up is free. Canva is free and you can make video pins and idea pins with a free account. So you can use any one of these Google, Facebook, or your email to sign up for a free account. Once you're logged in, you'll want to go to the create a design button. And here you'll want to click on mobile video. So you're going to select mobile video because this is better for creating a video with audio instead of selecting a Pinterest pin template or even a Pinterest idea pin template with which Canva actually has, the mobile video canvas size is gonna allow you to have a timeline for video, which allows you to easily add audio across all slides. So if I add multiple slides down here at the bottom, I'm gonna be able to add that audio seamlessly across all the slides. Or if you have an existing idea pin like this template that I got from Ivory Mix content membership, you can resize any template into a mobile video template so that you have that timeline down here if you have a Canva Pro account. So you go to resize and you'll type in mobile video, grab that and hit copy and resize and you'll see that it's added the timeline down here to the bottom. So you can resize anything, but you do need to have Canva Pro. But you can always just start with a brand new design for free. So I'm gonna start with this idea pin on a mobile video template. And what I wanna do is go to elements and find the audio section, which is right here. And you'll click see all, and there are lots of different audio tracks sorted by their type. You've got pop music, piano music. Once you find a song that you like, you can drag it over to your timeline and place it at the beginning or the start of your timeline. You definitely want to choose a song or an audio that matches your idea or your audience. It's got to fit the type of video you're trying to create. So definitely take some time here, but it does definitely help that they've categorized these under happy, upbeat, and you can even search for words that are associated with how you want your video to look or feel. So if you want your video to have a retro sort of feel to it, then you type in retro and a few different songs are going to come up. Now, once you have that audio on your timeline, you can see it here and you can right click to make any changes, trim the audio as you need to. You can even click it and drag it so that it starts a little later or all the way at the beginning, or you can actually make it stop at the second slide and then go find another audio for your next couple of slides. But for this video and this sake, I'm just going to make the audio go the entire length. And then in addition to that, there are some additional audio effects. You can change the volume, make it quieter or louder. You can also add different fade in or fade out at the end or the beginning. So if you want it to fade in slowly and fade out slowly, that's a nice feature. You can do that here right on the timeline. 
Once you've done and made all of your changes, you can preview your entire video by clicking this play button. And I'm going to hit play, but I don't want to play the music just for copyright sakes on YouTube. And so you can hit play and mute or add volume as you're previewing your video. But if you're wanting to create a voiceover, no problem. Canva can do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this audio and I'm going to go back to uploads and under uploads, you can record yourself. So under uploads, you can click on record yourself and up at the top, you'll click here on camera and you'll go ahead and put no camera and pick your microphone. I'm using a USB microphone that I always use and so I've selected that. So you can see it's added my little headshot to this slide right here and you can hit record. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. This is a test recording. I'm gonna hit done and then I'm gonna hit save and exit. And it's gonna add that video right here. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna place that video on, on your first slide and you'll just go ahead and make it super small and place it behind an element in your, in your screen. Now I can place this anywhere behind this picture. So you do that by going to position and hitting backward and it's gonna put it behind the element. So when I hit play, it's gonna play the audio, but you're not gonna see the headshot video. It's behind this element. Now, if you don't have an element to place this behind, then go ahead and use the background color and you'll go to elements and you'll place a shape over the top of that in the same color of your background, whatever color that happens to be. I think it's this color. Yeah, so I've hit it with the same background color. So now that you're done with that, you can do that for each slide. So you'll click on the next slide and go to uploads and record yourself and do that for all of the slides. Once you're done with your voiceover on each slide, you'll go ahead and click play to preview and make sure everything looks the way that you want. I do want to note there is another way to do the voiceover instead of adding the video to each individual slide, you would do one long voiceover and that is using the present and record. So you would go over to share, you go to more, you would look for present and record and you'll click on go to recording studio and you'll make sure that it says no camera and the microphone that you want to use and you'll hit start recording and it's just going to record your voice at this point. And when you're done recording, you can click on each slide during your recording and then when you're done you can hit end and it's going to save that as an audio file under your uploads so here you can see i've got that recording right here it's 10 seconds long now whether you've added music or you've added a voiceover it's time to download it and share it to Pinterest. So you're gonna click share and you're gonna click download and you're gonna make sure that it's on P, uh, MP4. If you're uploading into Pinterest and you have multiple slides, you can now just download each slide individually and then upload those into Pinterest idea pins as separate slides. So you should end up with a download folder with each slide separately and each one of these slides is an mp4 or a video and you'll go ahead and go to Pinterest. So on Pinterest you'll click create, create idea pin, create new and you will upload your files. So I'll click all of them and open them. And once you have all of your videos on separate pages for your idea pin, you'll go ahead and click next and it will play the music, the audio or the voiceover will play seamlessly slide to slide. And all you have to do is go ahead and insert your title, the board you want to post it to, the tags and any details and go ahead and preview it and publish it right here on Pinterest. 
Now that you've learned everything you can in this video and are ready to move on to the next step in creating your idea pins on Pinterest, I've put together this free resource for you and you can grab it right below this video.